This is the hottest opportunity in the real estate market in property investing for 2023 and you've got to get on it now. This is something that I've been teaching hundreds of people and the people that listen to this formula and they take it and they go flying with it, they don't only just make money quickly, but they also make money long term as well. Yeah, plus they really kind of set themselves a strong foundation for whatever happens in the market. Now this is gonna sound very simple, but you're gonna to have to listen very carefully to this uh, whole video to make sure you understand how all of these components work. So some people are waiting, what's the, what's the hottest opportunity? Really, uh, rent to rent is right now, service accommodation, oh no, going into property development, buy to lets, HMOs, studios, apartments, all of these different things. Look, 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 look. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong when they're saying these things. But the hottest opportunity opportunity right now is the multi strategy strategy yeah meaning we got to do multiple projects I've been doing this myself for many years and I taught many other people to do it and when they do this you know what happens they make money no matter what is happening people who are just doing one strategy or just doing one project at a time and they're like oh I'm gonna get this one sorted then I'll move on to the next one it takes years and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you want to make more money and you wanna make more money sooner, then this is the way to do it. Because once you start actually getting one property done, like let's say there's five steps, yeah? So the first step you get done, if you go one, one two, three, four, five, then all of a sudden, by the time it comes down to doing step one again, you're like, oh, what did I do there again? Oh, well, I gotta get, you know, exchange completed, what do I have to do? I can't remember that, that part. Yeah, so what happens is you get one project at step one and you move it to step two. Now, once you've got the first project at step two, you go and get another project right now, get that as step one. So now I've got two projects, one at step one and step two. So now they will move forward. I'll move the first one to step three and the second one to step two, which now opens another one to be at step uh, one. And I will just continue to do this. And this will allow me to run around five, six, or even seven projects concurrently. The most projects I ever actually won at one time, which was a bit of a stretch because we grew really quickly, was 14 projects all at the same time. And this wasn't with the construction company that I have now. This was with a couple of builders that I was working with in the very early days. So a lot of people, sometimes they might be relying on selling at a certain price, refinancing at a certain price, numbers being at certain points. They don't account for things being uncovered so then that eats into their budget and it takes out their profit because if you've got one project going on then that's what can happen but if you've got multiple projects going on the ones where those things come up and like margins are eaten into can be offset the ones where things work out better than you thought. When I've got multiple projects going on one of them or a few of the projects I will refinance really high what does that mean? That means I'm pulling more money out on the refinance. Now, when I pull more money out on the refinance, that means my cash flow is gonna be lower. Yeah, so sometimes if I have like a, a couple of voids or some periods where people are not in the property, I can be losing money on paper, right? But I pulled more money out. Now, if that's all the project that I have, then you know I'm gonna lose money and I don't have the more money to fill, you know, fuel my lifestyle. But if I've got other projects going on as well, this is what happens. I refinance these lower. So maybe I take less money out, but the cash flow is much higher. And I kind of not pair them, but I do them in chunks. So like I'll have a group of properties where I leverage very high and I'll have a group of properties which I don't leverage very high. So the cash flow is higher. So the higher cash flow from over here, some of them 1,200, 1,500, 1,800 uh, pounds per month is gonna offset the ones that are only making 400, 500. Cause on average, I wanna be over a thousand pounds per property per month in the cash flow. So the only way I can do that is have a mixture of these things. That's why this is the hottest opportunity right here, right now. You gotta have multiple strategies rocking all of the time. And if you wanna learn how to do more of these, either get yourself to our next two day training, get on a virtual training or subscribe. Just keep following this channel and learning all of the different ins and outs to make this happen. Until next time, do the right thing for the right reason because it's the only way you're gonna discover your true potential.